Shaw. How are you? How are you doing? I hope you're well. I hope you're doing good. My name is Sinus. If you didn't know, my name is Sinus. Nice to meet you. I hope you're doing good. Uh, show everybody today's pick a card is going to be a card on what do they look like? Now I did am not <laughs> I'm not specifying who they is because I've received comments that are quite frankly. <laughs> um I understand that not everybody believes in soulmates. I understand that not everybody wants a husband or a boyfriend. Some of us are into women. Some of us are into men. Some of us are into both. I understand, okay? I understand more than you think. So we're leaving it open-ended as to who the they is. With that being said, you guys, we will just insert a clip of the piles right now. All right, you guys, these are the four piles. We got group number one with the amethyst, group number two with the flower agate, group number three with my angel jewelry box, and group number four with the heated amethyst. If you guys need a moment to meditate on which pile is calling your name, you guys are free to that right now. And if you don't want to pick more than one pile, you guys are always welcome to do so. All right, you guys, so now that you have hopefully and instinctually picked your pile, please go ahead and check out my description box down there where I've left every time jams for when your reading will start. And with that, I will just see you in your reading. Um, you guys picked the cluster of amethyst. Oh, should we start with the astrology dice? I feel like zodiac signs give me a better, like I can pinpoint, like what do you look like based on your zodiac sign? Okay, so we have Taurus and we have Virgo. So Taurus, oh, sorry. Taurus and Virgo, you guys. So when I think of Virgo, I think of somebody who's very neat and put together on the outside. Um, so my sister is a Virgo and my best friend is a Virgo, you guys, and I have watched them both sit there and do their hair the same exact way for like an hour, okay? So like they'll, they'll like straighten the same piece of hair like 20 million times or they'll brush their hair back and put it in a ponytail like 20 different times. Um, they're very, very meticulous in particular about how they look. Not coming at Virgos, love Virgos, like I just said, best friend, sis, love Virgos, okay? Um, I was even raised by a Virgo, so we love Virgos, but uh, yeah, that's the energy I get. So somebody who's very particular about how it is that they groom themselves or how it is that they look. I feel like this is somebody who has very clean teeth, somebody who may spend a lot of time, you know, flossing and brushing, um, just because again, Virgo energy, someone who has very nice, neat, kept nails, um, clean ears as well, <laughs> get that vibe as well, so. Virgo. Uh, and then we have Taurus here. And when I think of Taurus, every person I've basically dated is a Taurus. Uh, so I also know a bot, a bot, a lot about how they look. <clears throat> Tauruses, you guys, are very much into having nice things. Now I know this isn't all Tauruses, but most of the Tauruses that I have dated have always liked to have nice things. And it's not necessarily like all the things that they have are nice, but they usually have one particular thing um, about them physically that they will spend a lot of money on. Um, for example, I dated a Taurus who was really into watches, so he would buy like expensive watches. I dated another Taurus who was really into shoes, so he had like really nice expensive shoes all the time. I dated another Taurus who, you know, we're not gonna talk about him, whatever. Point is, the point of the matter is, Tauruses like to spend money on their physical body um, and make themselves comfortable. Moving along, you guys, the first card we have here is the Princess of Discs. Now, this is talking about leveling up. As you guys can see here, she's quite literally in this depiction, like holding the freaking pentacle. She's like, hmm, hmm. Okay, she's leveling mm, up. Okay, so this is telling me, regardless of what this person looks like, I do feel like you will be attracted to them on a physical level because this reading is about physicality. Um, I feel like this person is a level up or they're like a step up from what it is that you previously have dated or maybe even a level up between like uh, your last ex and this person, right? So, and I'm not trying to be mean to your ex or people that you've dated in the past. I'm not saying that they are unattractive, but this card is just saying like we're leveling up. And because we're talking about attractiveness, I have to assume that we are leveling up in regards to what they look like physically. So 
leveling up you guys you guys we have i regard all altars with respect okay so again with this card i'm specifically getting somebody who's thicker i don't know if she's pregnant here um to be honest if i were to look at this and i was giving myself a reading i'd kind of be like oh she kind of gives me a little bit of pregnant vibes also aquarius vibes i get with this guys because she is pouring water into the river gives me very like the water barrier energy uh so thickness again is what i'm saying but in regards to that i regard all i regard all alters with respect this is talking about i respect everybody's opinion even if it's different from mine i have respect for the differences that is within people so with this person i don't feel like they necessarily care or they don't necessarily take time to judge other people based on their appearance uh, I feel like they just accept everybody for how they are. Now, I'm not saying that they don't have a type, but I'm just saying that I feel like this person is more accepting of people being different. They're more accepting of people's differences, right? I also have, obviously she has blue hair here, so it's obvious for some of you this person could have blue hair. Blue could also just be their favorite color. Um, I'm getting someone who's unique though, right? I'm getting someone who's not necessarily trying to like fit in. They're not necessarily trying. You know how I kind of see this? For some of you, I see this as a person who's like the black sheep of the family, right? Or like of their friend group, they're like the black sheep. They're like the weird one. They're like the oddball. Uh, but they do it in a way that I feel like is, I want to say fermented. I don't know why fermented is coming to mind, but I feel like their uniqueness is like fermented or aged or like, like cultivated in a way that is more it's not like they're they're being unique or they're being weird just to be like oh I'm like a radical young person who's just trying to stand out and be weird and be unique it's like no that's like who they are and it's it's more settled in I guess is a better word than fermented because fermented sounds like you know white and fuzzy uh we also have pioneer here you guys which again this is talking about unique energy it says a passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. The shadow attributes is compulsive, uh, the compulsive need to keep moving on. Again, this person is very unique, you guys. This person is an oddball. This person is the black sheep of their family or the black sheep of their friend group. I don't feel like when you meet this person, I don't feel like you guys have dated or have been with somebody who is like this person before. I feel like this person's very unique, which makes sense again with this leveling up. Oh, sorry. Which makes sense with this leveling up card, you guys. Also, I am getting kind of curly hair with this person. Wave pattern or curl pattern within their hair. I'm getting black hair, dark hair, that type of vibe. Now, moving along, we have soulmates here, you guys, which I thought this was really cute. I was like, group number one so this may be your soulmate the people who picked group number one may be looking for what it is that their soulmate looks like obviously i know the other groups are also going to have that but this group specifically soulmates is being called out now because these are butterflies you guys obviously i'm getting transformative energy when I think of transformative energy, I think of Scorpio energy, I think of Pluto energy. So for me, this is somebody, again, who is very like the black sheep. And I hate to keep using that word, but they're just somebody who's weird. There's somebody who's different. There's somebody who's not necessarily, they don't fit into a crowd, right? They may have some type of like unique hairstyle, you guys, black hair, maybe brown hair. I'm getting brown eyes as well. <sighs> What else? Also kind of feeling like this person presents themselves as very masculine, um, whether they are male or female, I'm kind of getting that they present themselves as the more like masculine energy. So there is that. Now we also have ship, the ship. So this person may look really different from you guys. The reason why I get that is because like ships take you from one place to another. Uh, this person could be from another country, another part of the world, another part of your country, perhaps. It's also possible, you guys, um, that even if you guys do come from like the same ethnic background that you guys were raised uh, very differently. So that's why this like ship is coming because it's like we're traveling or we're taking a journey to get to you. So there is that. Uh, we have a mature man, which is what I was talking about, you guys, with the fermentation. <laughs> I was like, I feel like their uniqueness is like fermented or it's like been seasoned. It's been like 
brewing for a while so with this mature man obviously this person is very intelligent you guys this person may be somebody who is a scholar or somebody who uh, has completed college and I feel like they may have a job uh, where they are teaching or a job where they are you know using their education to advance other people right now with this this again the world is here like we have the globe so again it kind of gives me the energy of they may be from somewhere different than you are i just seen 11 11 on the on the thing on the timer anyways this person could also be older than you obviously now older than you i feel like sometimes when i do these readings people assume that the person that they're thinking of like somebody that they've already met is a person that we're talking about but it's very possible you guys that you have not met this person yet it's also very possible that you are not going to meet this person for another five years or another 10 years or maybe another year or two years like we're not saying when you're meeting this person we're talking about what they look like so if you're inquiring about your soulmate or your future husband or your future wife it's very possible you have not met them yet. It's very possible you're not going to meet them for a while. So when I say older, you both could be older, okay? Or it could be like a couple of years. Maybe you're, let's say, 26 and they're going to be 32. You know what I'm saying? It could be like that type of age difference. But it does not mean that because they are mature or because they may be older than you that it's somebody that you currently know. Does that make sense? We also have unexpected income, which I was kind of talking about this with the Taurus card, you guys, how I was like, oh, Tauruses like to have nice things. So again, they may spend money on their physical appearance. I'm also getting somebody with really strong hands. I do feel like a lot of Tauruses I have met have very strong hands, a very strong grip, male and female, because I used to have a Taurus female best friend and she had really, really strong hands. Um, and again, you know, dating history, all the Taurus men I've ever dated have really impressive hands okay um moving on <laughs> moving on we have the crow spirit all right give me dark and spooky what was i talking about the black freaking sheep so this person again you guys they have a little bit of a darker aesthetic or a darker look to them um maybe even just like moody like a moody look uh i don't know really interesting but it says co-create with spirit okay so also you guys i'm kind of getting maybe they have like crackly feet and i know it's kind of gross or whatever but i'm kind of just getting crackly feet or feet that aren't like the prettiest i'm so sorry if that like makes anybody mad but i just feel like the feet may not be the prettiest if i'm being honest because like i don't know for some reason this crow just makes me feel like their feet aren't pretty that's what i got with that Did I say bluish green eyes, you guys? Because I am really getting that like bluish green hue. It feels like a mixture of the two. It doesn't necessarily feel like one or the other. It feels like a mixture. There's definitely brown eyes here. I can see that. But like I'm getting like this very specific like bluish green tinge. Maybe it could be their hair color, but I just feel like it's more of their eyes. But we have the stag spirit as well and it says take the lead so again you guys this person presents themselves in a very masculine manner the stag for me is masculine energy so even if they are female they present themselves in a very dominant fashion if they are male again they present themselves in a very dominant fashion that does not mean aggressive that does not mean cruel that does not mean uh you know the negative side of the masculine but they do present themselves as a leader they do present themselves in a very strong manner I'm not getting too much on their height so far, you guys. Oh my God, even this deer. You guys, look at this deer. Oh, you can't see it on camera. Okay, I swear to God, you guys, the color I've been describing to you, that bluish green color is exactly the eye color of this freaking deer. If you guys have this deck, please go. And if you don't believe me, go look at this freaking deer. It literally is the exact color that I keep seeing pop up here. Okay. I feel like this person has a really nice like bum uh all right we have share you guys which is she's like ultimately the ultimate like black sheep right also you guys share is like that fermented and i'm not trying to say fermented okay i'm not gonna say that for share share is that very mature energy of like being a rebel obviously this picture is her younger but like even now share has that energy of like i don't give up f right i don't give an f i'm gonna dress how i want i'm gonna be as ridiculous as i freaking want but she does it in a way where it's like authentically herself and she's mature about it it's not 
like a, a shtick. Does that make sense? She's not doing it for the aesthetic. It's like, this is me. That's what this person feels like. But anyways, it says nothing becomes legend more than not giving a damn. What did I say? Um, bad taste trumps, <laughs> bad taste trumps no taste any day. Lovers come, lovers go, but sequence is forever extra. Okay. Again, the black sheep of the family, somebody who's a little bit of a rebel, a little bit of a darker aesthetic, especially with that crow spirit here. Um, and the last card, of course, we have freaking Uranus, the revolution. This person may have... To be honest, I'm getting more like almond shaped eyes and a very like, they have like a softer face like all around here, but then I feel like their chin kind of comes to a little bit of a point, you guys. Um, and I'm getting like almond shaped eyes for most of you, but for others of you, they may have like these flies, their eyes are just sticking out to me. So they may have kind of bugged eyes or like larger eyes. I'm not trying to make fun of them or be like their eyes are bugged. Um, I just feel like their eyes may be bigger is what I'm saying. For a lot of you though, their eyes do feel more almond or more like almond, okay? So with this, it says breakthroughs, brainstorming, originality, insight, awakening, technology, innovation, humanitarianism, reform, surprise, freedom, experimentation, the unexpected, rapture, edge, diversity, and lightning. So again, you guys, the black sheep. Okay, Uranus is literally the planet of like, I'm gonna shake this ish up. I'm gonna make crazy okay we are gonna go crazy we are not here to play around we're not here to keep it safe we're not here to play it safe this person does not play it safe you guys now moving on to my bowl i'm gonna go ahead and pull some little cards for you on what they look like we have annoyingly attractive Ooh, we have a body of a god slash goddess we have ethnic hairstyles, okay, which could be different around the world depending on where you are. Ooh, oh my God, that almost caught on fire. Uh, we have brown eyes, which I told you guys, I know for sure there are people here with brown eyes. We have uh, average body build. We have beautiful, ooh. We have unique hair, which I kept saying. Um, now for the notes, we have practical, okay? So this person may dress very practically or their aesthetic just may be very practical. We also have body of a goddess slash god, which is interesting because we also do have that average body build. So to, both can be true, you know what I'm saying? Um, it could just be different for each of you watching this. So I wanna get a few more. What is this? We have a nerdy slash quirky cute oh oh okay we have cry baby beauty mark slash scar dark tan november scorpio and sagittarius we have older we have straight this could be talking about their hair being straight you guys it could also be talking about them not partaking in drugs we have stocky as well so the body type kind of seems to be very varied again as far as their face shape goes you i'm trying to get that out of the way as far as their face shape goes you guys i do feel like it's softer around like their forehead and their cheek area and then their kind of jaw comes down to a bit of a point i do feel like their nose is rather prominent but it fits their face like it's not something that necessarily stands out but it is prominent it is a strong nose I'm not saying large or small because i don't think that's super clear but it's prominent okay um what else for some of you this person could have facial hair so as far as like the skin tone, you guys, I know we do have like the dark tan, but if they are pale or if they are darker than dark tan, I do feel like their undertones will be warm or more like olivey or yellow. So you can be like super pale and have yellow undertones. You can be super dark and have yellow undertones. Just depends on like your undertone. So that's what I have for you guys. Also strong hands. The hands are sticking out to me. Strong hands and maybe like a little bit of like nasty feet. Okay. Maybe their feet just need a little bit of a pedicure or a little scrub. So that's that. Anyways, you guys, that's what I have for you guys. Group number one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. I love you guys and I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Hello group two. You guys picked the flower agate palm stone. All right. Welcome to your reading. We will start off with the astrology dice, you guys. Oh. 
We have Cancer and we have Aquarius. Happy birthday, Cancer. Hello, Aquarius. So with Cancer, you guys, automatically, I get somebody who has very bright skin, somebody who is, and what I mean by bright, I don't, I'm not talking about the complexion, like the, the level of lightness or darkness. I'm talking about um, it kind of looking like they are illuminated from within, like they are glowing. That's what I'm trying to say, they're glowing. Um, also, you guys with cancer, I get somebody with a very round face, maybe very round, big eyes. Maybe somebody who has more like doe-like features, okay? Or somebody who has more, I don't know. I just feel like cancers look very like, like dolls, right? I feel like cancers look like dolls, especially cancer risings. We also have the Aquarius here. Now, Aquariuses are a little bit weird. They're a little bit odd. These are the people who are going to do whatever the F they want, period, okay? They're a little bit quirky. They're a little weird. So <laughs> this person could be somebody who is a little bit more quirky in their aesthetic. They could also be a humanitarian. They could be a humanitarian, you guys, because Aquariuses are the humanitarians of the zodiac signs. They could be people who, you know, want to solve the world's issues and things like that. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and get into the cogs. So the first two cards we have here, oh, that's kind of weird, you guys. You guys seen me roll that, right? We have Cancer here with the chariot, and then we have the six of cups. The reason why I'm like, oh, this is kind of weird because like I was literally saying how Cancer's having more like innocent look to them, especially Cancer Risings, and they have a more doe-like look to them. Um, anyways, starting off with the chariot, you guys, this could be somebody who's rather stocky, somebody who's rather thick, somebody who is built very strong. Um, this could also be somebody, you guys, where everything's very symmetrical. Their facial features are very symmetrical, their head size shape is symmetrical to their body if they're a woman maybe they're uh you know this is symmetrical to that and that's symmetrical to this and this is symmetrical to that if they're a guy same thing maybe their shoulders are symmetrical to their this and their that and their this and that symmet being symmetrical right this isn't going to be somebody who is maybe super tall and then they have like small hands right uh i'm getting symmetrical energy because of the dark and the light the duality that is here balance evenness right now also the stockiness comes in because the chariot talks about strength and this chariot just talks this chariot talks about willpower and pushing through so stockiness maybe somebody who works out somebody who has an athletic body so find that interesting also i am doing somebody who's tall you guys obviously because these are two horses and horses are tall but also deers have long legs as well so this could be somebody who has rather long legs uh or somebody who's very tall so there's that now also the six of cups you guys talks about innocence it talks about childhood this person could have a very youthful face maybe fuller cheeks so they're not like big old cheeks that you could just pinch um this person could again have larger eyes or just more youthful features even if they are older you guys because i know everybody watching this is of different age of a different age range so Ooh, do you hear my bones crack? Okay. Um, different age range, but still remains uh, useful, spe specifically in the face. Now, this could also have to do with them working out and that maybe they have a useful looking body because they work out and take care of themselves. Because again, chariot. So, also I'm getting freckles. Just want to put that out there. I'm getting freckles. They may have a more round face shape as well. We have I spread joy. So this person is obviously someone who's very positive. But I'm also, again, getting the long legs, long arms, long torso. Um, this person does look like they have an athletic body, if I'm being honest with you guys. Again, looks like more of a dancer's type body. So again, working out, this person may be somebody who has a very nice physique. We have compatibility, you guys. So compatibility is obviously talking about you two being rather compatible. This always gives me Harry Potter and Hermione Granger vibes on freaking a Buckbeat, okay? Period. It just does. So <laughs> we love that. But basically with this card, you guys, I'm feeling like this gives me very hippie vibes, very like kumbaya vibes. With this, this could be saying that this person has a dark brown hair. Maybe they have facial hair because I am noticing this man has facial hair. Um... Again, with the humanitarianism, I'm kind of picking up on that again, even though this Aquarius uh, dice rolled. 
I don't know what a humanitarian looks like. I guess a humanitarian is somebody who maybe doesn't put a lot of time and effort into like picking out a nice outfit or into doing their hair or their makeup. They may be somebody who doesn't wear makeup if they are a woman um, or if they're a man, maybe they're somebody who doesn't do their hair or spend a lot of time grooming themselves. Cause for some reason, again, this is just giving me like humanitarian energy. So, you know, just spreading love and just trying to be like, kumbaya person may have coppery hair so even if it's like blonde i feel like it would be more of like a coppery blonde if it's brown i feel like it would have a lot of warm or red undertones so when it hits the light there's like this reflective color of like orange or red or like coppery uh so that's what i'm getting with that again like i said for some of you this person may have facial hair i'm also getting somebody who may have very rosy cheek we have the advocate, which this is the humanitarian, guys. It says, inspires you to put compassion into action. The shadow attribute to this card is embracing negativity cause, embracing negative causes or committing to a cause for personal gain. This person's a humanitarian, you guys. I don't know if this person spends a lot of time like volunteering in their local community or if this person actually travels to like donate their time or to volunteer for certain things. I don't know if this person's a part of like the Red Cross. Maybe they're a nurse or a doctor. Maybe there's somebody, oh, I don't know you guys. Maybe they work with children or with the elderly. What am I pushing? I'm pushing something. Um, maybe they work with children or with the elderly or with people uh, who have like special needs, but maybe they're even like a teacher who works with kids who are like special ed or something like that. I'm really unsure you guys, but with this, it just says inspires to put compassion into action. So this person is somebody who's very compassionate. This person is somebody who has a very big loving heart. And I feel like that has a lot to do with their physical appearance. When I think of somebody who is doing volunteer work, I think of somebody who's not thinking about their physical, like how they look physically, like they don't care. They're not taking time to do their makeup or their hair or pick out a nice outfit or, you know, have the best of this or the best of that. They're like, I'm here to work. I'm here to take care of other people. So this could be somebody who's in scrubs. If they work outside, this could be somebody who has very dirty hands or very like rough, scaly, dry, cracked hands. No, no, no shade. Um, this could be somebody who may have sunburns, okay, because they're outside helping people. So yeah, that's what I'm getting with that, you guys. Again, with the copper hair, it's showing up strong. For a lot of you, they do have straight hair, but I just feel like it has a very like warm undertone to it, a very like warm undertone. Uh, now, we also have the vulture, you guys, which is nothing's wasted. So this person is somebody where I feel like they may shop secondhand, um, like they may go to thrift stores or they may go to Goodwill to do their like clothing shopping because again, you guys, this person does not care about how they look. That's not their main priority in life. They're focused on actually trying to help people. They're focused on actually trying to like get stuff done on on an energetic level and on like a personal level. They're not really concerned about trying to look good. So the vulture for me is talking about, you know, picking up scraps, obviously the vulture picks up scraps. So that's why I get the Goodwill vibes or the, the thrift shopping vibes. <clears throat> it could also just be if they don't do any of those, it could be that this person buys really good quality items. So then they don't have to constantly go out and buy new clothes or new furniture or a new car or a new this or a new that. They're not a consumer. I feel like they don't waste anything. They're somebody where they may even be a minimalist, you guys, or they may be somebody who, uh, wants to like live off the land or like work the land in some way. I don't feel like this is somebody who has bought into the idea of being a consumer. I'm not saying they don't consume. I'm not saying they don't purchase things. I'm just saying the idea of being a consumer and like that's your goal is to like consume things or to get new things. I don't feel like that's this person's goal. We also have a message. Okay, so again, this is not focused on their physical attributes, you guys. This is focused more on like writing and communicating and things like that. So it could be that this person, maybe this person works in postage and maybe uh, maybe they're like a mailman or a mailwoman. And that's why this like, you know, maybe they have that athletic body because they're walking around. They got the sunburns because they're always out in the sun. Freckles come out in the sun as well, you guys. I don't know. I find that very interesting. For a lot of you watching this, I feel like this person has really like golden eyes. I don't know how necessarily to explain it. Um, it's like brown, but it's golden. Like it feels like there's like a hint of gold within their eye color. 
even if it's like green i still feel like it has like this this golden hue to it maybe even like hazel we have the house okay which the house talks about stability um maybe this person works in construction and they build houses you guys so with the house again in regards to somebody's physical attributes i just get stability i get stocky again i get somebody who's like built oh my god we have the moon so again, you guys, luminous skin. This person has a glow from within and it could be their smile that is like glowing. It could be like when they see somebody, they just automatically like get a smile on their face and they have this warmth and radiance that is glowing from within. We have instinct and it says nurture, gut reaction, comfort, digestion, home, family, conditioning, habits, femininity, lineage, privacy, embodiment, emotion, substance, self-soothing, moods, and mother interesting again luminous skin a very big bright disposition somebody who may have a rounder face or more full face chubby cheeks is coming in okay you guys again someone who has a more youthful appearance as well i feel like this person has really pretty eyelashes you guys i feel like this person male or female i feel like they have like unfairly like pretty eyelashes and the last one we have here is dolly freaking parton uh, this says the high, the higher the heels, the closer to heaven. Caution will get you nowhere. The most precious diamonds are sometimes disguised as rhinestones. So love this. Dolly Parton is such a light, you guys. And I'm not saying obviously this person's going to look like Dolly Parton, but this person may have a disposition of Dolly Parton where they just look friendly and happy. And again, that glow from within. Dolly Parton does have those very full cheeks. And I know a lot of it's filler. I know guys, but when she was younger, um, Dolly definitely did have that very like useful, young, full cheeked uh, face. Also, again, the eyelashes are kind of sticking out here with her. I know she's wearing makeup, but eyelashes are sticking out. This may be somebody who is curvier, you guys, especially if they're a woman. Men can be curvy as well, giving me very like dad bod energy. Um, that doesn't mean that they don't work out or they're not strong, you guys. It just means that they're not necessarily trying to be like chiseled or like ripped okay the only thing i would say that's different about dolly from this entire reading is that she does put a lot of work and effort into her physical appearance so there's that all right you guys so moving along to moving along you guys to the bowl what do they look like diamond shaped face that basically means that their forehead comes to more of a point and they have very prominent cheekbones and then their chin would come more to a point as well so diamond shaped face we also have blonde hair which i'm sorry when dolly came out i didn't say blonde hair but blonde hair is coming up here as well as well as like dark brown hair though um we have black hair here so black hair blonde hair we have a round face which is what i've been saying someone with a very round face we have ambitious so this person is very ambitious in life have a like you may look very similar to this person you guys signs as well we have a rebel we have i love you online we have a may a handsome we have a melanin deep june we have blessings east we have 31 and 20, so they could be anywhere from 31 to uh, 20 years old. This could also just be talking again about them having a youthful face. Also, you guys could be born on the 20th or the 31st, um, their birthday, your birthday. We have clever, have medium lips. Okay, so in a nutshell, you guys, warm smile, chubby cheeks, or a youthful appearance, a youthful look. I do feel like this person is, is rather stocky or curvy. I don't feel like this person is necessarily like, you know, uh, rail thin or super chiseled, I guess is what I would say. Uh, also, this person does not necessarily care about how they look. Like they don't spend hours making sure that their hair is perfect or their makeup is perfect. This person is more someone who's like, I care more about my work or I care more about, you know, maybe they're trying to save the planet and they're like, we're going to shop secondhand, not going to buy new stuff. I'm not going to be a consumer. I do feel like this person is rather tall, you guys. Um, I feel like this person, I think the best way I could describe them, that I could describe them is like a natural beauty or somebody who uh, like radiates from within, like they're not someone who needs, you know, 
a lot of glitz and glam to look beautiful. I feel like this person has very symmetrical features. If they do have brown hair or even blonde hair, I do feel like the, the hair is going to be more warm in tone. I do feel like this person has a rounder face. Again, we also have that triangle shaped face, so another possibility here. I do feel like this person has rather large eyes. Um, for some of you, this person may have a very specific piece of jewelry that is important to them that they wear on a daily basis, whether it's a ring, a bracelet, maybe a necklace. I don't know, maybe they even carry it in their wallet or they just carry it like on their person. But I do feel like there's a specific piece of jewelry that this person has that's important to them. So that is what I have for you guys. Group number two. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you really soon. Okay. Bye. So group number three, you guys picked my little jewelry box. First card that we got. Group three. This person's hecka confident, okay? This person is like, I'm beautiful and I know it, okay? I am attractive and I know it. I am handsome and I know it. I can get anyone I want. This person receives a lot of compliments, you guys. This person receives a lot of praise for their physical appearance. This person um, is constantly being told how attractive they are. That's literally what this card is saying. Like this card is literally like, oh, I'm victorious and I'm getting recognition for my victory. So when we correlate that to what somebody looks like, they're hot, okay? They're hot. I forgot to roll the dice for you guys in the beginning, so I'm gonna roll it now. Okay. Huh. Oh my god. Okay, so we have Scorpio and we have Gemini. Okay, so Scorpio and Gemini, which like Geminis know they're freaking hot. Scorpios know they're freaking hot, so that makes sense. Scorpio is very much like lustful energy. It's transformative energy. It's darker energy, the underworld type energy. Dark, <laughs> but attractive. And then Gemini is the twins. Gemini is also talking about duality it's talking about communication and things like that but anyways you guys so the first oracle card we have here is luminosity all right so luminosity is talking obviously about being freaking beautiful like what other card i mean what do you think this card is talking about if you got this card and you were like oh what do they look like you'd be like oh they're freaking hot obviously luminosity is talking about being beautiful she's beautiful okay um for a lot of you, I feel like this person has dark hair. Even this person here with the blue hair, it's like a darker blue. This woman here obviously has like dark black hair. So for a lot of you, this person does have dark hair, brown eyes. I feel like they have a rather pretty lip situation going on, a nice little pout. This person definitely has a long neck. I'm getting that with like this card and this card. Both these women have very like elegant necks, very long necks. So even if they're a man, or woman, like it doesn't matter. Um, I do feel like this person has a really pretty long neck. This person may even like being kissed on their neck and that's why that's standing out to me, but something with the neck. Uh, they're just freaking beautiful guys. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. The luminosity is just screaming, I am hot, okay? My skin is beautiful, my hair is beautiful, my body's beautiful, okay? I Beautiful lips, beautiful eyes. I mean, same thing with the Six of Wands, it's like, I'm hot and I know it. Like there's no way this person doesn't think that they're gorgeous. This person's confident with themselves physically. Now that does not mean that this person does not have flaws, you guys. That, that does not mean that this person is perfect because perfect is not real. <laughs> um, so don't get it twisted. Don't think this person's perfect because they are not. I do feel like for a lot of you, this person has thinner brows, whether they are male or female, I feel like their brows may be a little bit thinner. We also have, I'm trustful in my relationships. So I feel like that's really important for you guys to hear because I'm telling you how freaking gorgeous they are and there may be some distrust because you're like, oh, you look like an F boy, you look like an F girl, you look like you're gonna break my heart. This person may look quite literally like they are going to break your heart because of how attractive they are. Um, but this is literally saying like, I can be trusted in relationships. When I'm in a relationship, I'm gonna stay loyal, I'm gonna stay faithful, um, I'm not gonna be out here sprinkling it sprinkling they're not gonna be sprinkling so there is that again i'm getting <laughs> really dark hair really dark brown eyes beautiful 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 this person's hot we got the queen this is radiates the regal feminine uses her benevolent authority to protect others the shadow attributes this card is becomes arrogant when authority is challenged controlling and demanding which 
controlling and demanding. Okay, this person is used to getting their way because of how attractive they are, you guys. So when someone tells them no, they may be like, what? What does that mean? What is that word you just said? What just left your mouth? Okay, so radiates a uh, regal femininity. This person is gorgeous again, male or female, doesn't matter. They radiate their feminine energy, okay? They radiate that beautiful, voluptuous energy. Um, also, it says uses benevolent authority to protect others. So this person may have a lot of friends or have a like large group of people who support them um, and they use that to protect others. So even though they're beautiful and they're gorgeous, I don't feel like this person is a bully. I don't feel like this person is somebody who is necessarily going to be arrogant because of how they look. To be honest, this person's giving me very much Aries energy. This person's giving me very, very Aries. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Uh, we have the sun which is the ego. Um, this says essence, energy, self-awareness, life force, spirit, creativity, honor, masculinity, distinction, childishness, ego, individuality, solitude, expression, self-sufficiency, self uh, shine, heartbeat, and father. So this is masculine energy. So we have the feminine energy here. And we have the masculine energy here, which obviously these are group readings, you guys. So it makes sense that both, that both the feminine and the masculine would pop up because, you know, you're attracted to feminine and you're attracted to masculine. So different people, different strokes for different folks. But regardless, this person is very front and center, type A personality. If this was like an 18 plus reading, I'd be like, this person's got, okay. Blessed. How much more beautiful can you get than the sun? Two luminosity cards, a freaking queen, a freaking six of freaking wands. We have conjunction, you guys, and this says combines with, enhances, strengthens, joins forces, activates, intensifies, uh, authorities, allies with, concentrates, saturates, overrides, and overwhelms. I just feel this person is someone who does empower other people. They're giving me very Leo vibes. I don't know if you guys have ever been in a relationship with a Leo or had a Leo be interested in being in a relationship with you. Um, but I have, and Leos do this thing where they're very freaking cocky. They're very, I shouldn't say that, I'm sorry, Leo. They're very confident with themselves, but they don't just do that for themselves. Like if a Leo loves you, they're going to also be like, oh, I love myself, I'm beautiful, but you better believe you are beautiful as well. So they bring you up with them, you guys. I've never met a Leo that has cared about me because I've met Leos who don't like me, who are like, mm, Mm -mm, you know, but Leos who have loved me have been very much like, we are going to be queens together. We are going to be king and queen. Okay, we are, you are beautiful. You better believe it. There's nobody who can hype you up like a Leo, maybe a Sag, but Leos do it the best, especially with your physical appearance. So this person, even though they are beautiful and they're attractive, they are also going to make you feel confident and you feel beautiful and handsome and gorgeous about yourself. So We have lilies here, you guys. Um, <clears throat> lilies is obviously talking about a beautiful, abundant bouquet of flowers, right? Flowers are beautiful. What else do you want me to say? Gorgeous. Um, let's get some like physical, physical attributes, you guys. I just keep getting dark hair and dark eyes, dark hair, dark eyes, dark hair, dark eyes. Anyways, moving on, you guys, to your animal cards. We have the dove and the horse, which I thought was because the dove is white and the horse is white which I just think is a little weird I'm not saying that has anything to do with them but it's just interesting to me that white popped up for both the animals anyways so the dove spirit says be at peace this person is at peace with how they look okay and then we have the horse spirit which is freedom is yours so this person may feel very freed or very liberated with their bodies they may be somebody who is very uh adult energy positive, right? So they feel very comfortable in their bodies. They feel like they are able to explore, be free. This may be somebody who's not afraid to like 
to show off or to embrace their body. Uh, this is beautiful. Also with the, with the bird and the horse, these are both animals that are like traveling, right? The bird flies, the horse runs, freedom. So it's very interesting to me. I feel like this person feels empowered by how it is that they look. They feel freed um, to express themselves on a physical level with how they look. So we have the main female here, which I find rather interesting because group number three, if there was a main character to have been written ever, it's group number three, okay? This person acts like they are the main character. This person acts like they, again, they have a type A personality, group number three. This person, whether they are like literally the most beautiful person that's ever walked or they're someone who's just average, okay? This person thinks that they're hot, period. This person's like, you can't tell me literally anything. I'm, try to tell me I'm not beautiful. Try to tell me I'm not gorgeous. They're gonna be like, mm no you're a liar like this person just is very confident okay they are they are the main character group number three i feel like this person wants to be in the spotlight this person enjoys being looked at this person enjoys people giving them compliments they enjoy it okay they do but they can be trusted in relationships keep that in mind you guys because that did pop up we have the queen and we have the king so we have Elvis, okay? And it says, you are a king. Um, never let reality stand in your way. Always keep heaven on speed dial. That is so weird because I was talking about the white dove and the white horse. Maybe this person's religious, you guys. I'm picking up like Christian vibes. Christian vibes. Don't, don't know if they're Christian. Don't know if you're a Christian. That's just going to be for some of you. But the white energy was giving me very like Puritan Christianity vibes and this is definitely not for everybody here watching it's not don't I don't want to see no comment about I don't want mm, I don't want that not everybody not everybody's about to date a Christian but the white dove and the white horse did give me that vibe I just didn't want to say it because I didn't feel like that was appropriate to say but with the heaven on speed dial I feel like I need to say it so this person could be religious okay specifically Christianity because Christianity does preach that like purity culture situation so god bless them anyways never let reality stand in your way this person's a king again main character energy i mean even okay so here's the thing elvis is gorgeous right he was gorgeous in his prime elvis was okay elvis was gorgeous he was a gorgeous gorgeous man very handsome very attractive man right now even when elvis you know declined and he started to partake in certain things he he you know he he didn't become he was less attractive elvis still acted though like he was the most attractive thing that ever walked the planet and that's the energy this person has you guys in a nutshell you guys this person is hella confident confident a hundred okay this person has big eyes this person may be somebody who's very tall this person has really pretty eyebrows. This person may have very supple like lips. I'm getting that a lot, a lot, like a lot of supple lip energy. They're really soft and like kissable. A more like oval shaped face. I'm also feeling you guys like this person has darker hair, darker features. I feel like this person kind of brings out the flirtatious energy in other people. I feel like this person is somebody where when they're sitting at a restaurant, the waitress like accidentally is gonna flirt with them because they're just like, you're so cute. Like, I, I don't feel like the uh, other people around them are necessarily able to maintain, like, their composure. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and roll some, ooh, we got December, so Sagittarius Capricorn, hello. Different from you. So this person could be ethnically different from you or have a uh, different, like, culturally different from you. We have languages, which also indicates, like, being culturally different than you are. We also have brown hair. We have soft features. We have melanin deep. Miss you. Green eyes. We have intense eyes. Diamond-shaped face. We have tan skin. A standout smile, straight hair, blonde hair, rich, handsome, cutie, 
have 28 and 20. So they could be anywhere between the ages of 28 and 20. This could also be their birthday, your birthday, the day that you guys meet. That is what I have for you guys, group number three. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Let me know below how this has resonated. Thank you. I love you. And I'll see you guys really, really soon. Okay, bye. Four. I'm sorry, to be honest with you, it's hot. These candles are making it hotter. I'm in the PNW right now and we are having a heat wave and I know I have long sleeves on, but like, don't come at me. Anyways, despair, the 10 of swords and the king of cups. This person may have scars on their body, you guys. Um, this person may have some physical, I don't know if I wanna use the word like disability because that's not necessarily what I'm picking up on. It feels like they had like an injury, right? I guess that is a physical disability. I don't know what the proper word is to use. I feel like this person had like some type of accident. Maybe they were working out or they were playing a sport or maybe they were just goofing off with their friends or whatever it may be. And they like hurt themselves kind of badly. Maybe they have like a messed up knee or a messed up ankle, maybe their arm. I'm not sure. It could be severe. It could be non-severe. Could also just be scars, you guys, from like a surgery or something like that something like that. We also have the King of Cups, which is talking about emotional stability and emotional balance. Um, with this King of Cups, you guys, I do feel like he is shown in this depiction like aged because in order to have emotional maturity, you have to go through a lot in life. And yes, you can be young and be emotionally mature, but oftentimes emotional maturity comes from experiencing life and you can't experience life if you haven't gone through anything like if you don't go through anything like how can you mature right um for me personally like this is just an example you guys i do feel like i have experienced quite a lot in my life um you know my family deals with certain addiction issues there's been a lot of physical mental uh, adult abuse that has happened in my past from different family members, different relationships, um, uh, that has caused me to have to like grow up a lot faster than I think I would have had those things not happen to me. So yes, emotional maturity can come while you're still young. You don't need to be in your, you know, you don't have to be older in order to have emotional maturity. However, for a lot of you watching this, I do feel like this person is older, okay? Because we do have this emotional maturity here. Now, like I just said, not for everybody, but for some of you, yes, person is older. This person may be more serious looking, you guys. Like they may be somebody who looks more like business oriented or more like stern. Uh, and I'm not saying they're mean. I'm just saying they look more like poker face, more serious, more serious okay they have very much saturn energy even though we do have water signs here cancer scorpio pisces they have very much saturn energy we have i am forgiving i'm picking up on this woman's long fingers so this person may have very long fingers um for some of you they may have a shaved head that's cute we love the shaved head we love a buzz cut this could also be balding for some of you i know that's not like what people want to hear but Obviously this woman's here balding and we're talking about, or she's bald. So obviously we're talking about physical appearances. So I do just have to point that out. Um, but long fingers, okay. I'm picking up on the long fingers. The I'm forgiving part. I do also feel like that comes from the emotional maturity. She's also crying here. So it's like, I forgive you even though I'm hurt. Hedonist. I know everyone always corrects me when I, when I say this, I'm sorry, you guys, I read it and I'm like, oh yeah, okay. I'll say it like this next time. And then I forget. Anyways, it says inspires to create, uh, inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life, collaborates the beauty in yourself. This person eats really healthy. This person may work out. This person may be somebody who's a runner or somebody who likes to lift weights. This person could even be a swimmer, you guys. Um, but they like to take care of their body. All right. They like to make sure that they are putting good positive nutrients into their body. That's what I get with that. They may also be a vegan or a vegetarian. Um, possibilities. We have abundance and I do have to show the other card with it because it's interesting to me. We have abundance and we have despair. So with these two cards together, you guys, like what do you guys get from these two cards? Because for me, the way I see this, this is right. This is like work hard, like work your life away. And here's money. 
So if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, group number four, I do feel like this person is somebody who works really hard. So they may have a lot of money, um, but it's deteriorating their bodies or it's deteriorating their happiness or it's deteriorating their mental health. Because we're talking about physical attributes, I do feel like for some of you, this person could have a, a very hard job that may be very lucrative, but it is taxing on their body. So maybe they work in construction, maybe they're in the military, maybe they, or maybe they were in the military if they're not currently, or maybe they did work in construction, but they're not currently. Um, let me think, maybe... Rah, Maybe they're just somebody who worked a lot of long hours on their feet and now they have, like I said, like back issues or something like that, but they did something to gain this abundance that I feel like hurt their body, okay? Because this distorted masculine is, is not the greatest, you know what I'm saying? Like this person's working really hard, they're putting in a lot of effort to make this money here, but I mean, look at him. I don't think he looks happy. I think he's struggling. That looks like a struggle to me. If I've ever seen a struggle, that looks like a struggle. So, yeah. And this could be from their past. Like, they had a job previously that was really taxing on their body. So now that's, like, why they had this, like, physical issue or this physical, like, scar or, like, body aches or pains. We have the owl as well. This person's very wise. Again, this gives me... You know, somebody who's more mature, somebody who may be a little bit older, it says you see clearly now. So perhaps this person previously thought that like, oh, I just need to work my life away. I need to dedicate my life to working hard, to making money, to doing this, to doing that. And then they woke up to the realization that like, no, life isn't about money. Life is about experiencing this human experience and I'm here to live my life and not, you know, work my body away or work myself away. This person may also be somebody who's just very smart, very intelligent. I'm getting very big eyes because we got this owl here staring at us with his beautiful big eyes. We have poverty and we have an official person. I find this so interesting. I feel like for a lot of you, this person comes from a very difficult situation in their past. Obviously, I think it's the past because this person shown here is a child. Um, their child, right? And then this person here is an older gentleman. So it does make me feel very much so, you guys, that this person maybe has struggled financially in their past when they were younger, maybe in their early 20s or in their teens, maybe in their childhood, they struggled financially. And then as they got older, they became this official person, they have money, which also makes sense with the distorted masculine where they felt like, oh, I need to work really hard and uh, give my body over to the system so that I can make this money. Uh, so yeah, and I know we're not really focusing so much on the physical and I'm going to try to get back to that you guys, but there's just like so much more that's here. Anyways, <clears throat> big eyes, there's a significant scar on their body. They eat really healthy. So I would assume they are in the normal BMI range. Um, also I am getting someone who's older, you guys, so they may have wrinkles or they may have sunspots or they may be somebody who has, uh, gray hair going on. They may also have a beard or facial hair, obviously, if they identify as a man. So, we have Frank Sinatra, okay? Frank Sinatra is also, or obviously somebody who is more mature, somebody who's older. Um, this says, everyone looks up to the guy behind the guy. Fly yourself to the moon of your choice. You only get one shot at life, so aim high. Okay, so there is that. This person may resemble Frank Sinatra or have a lot of Frank Sinatra's uh, characteristics or physical appearance attribute, physical attributes. So blue eyes, a charming smile. We have Taurus here and we have the first house. The first house is just talking about your physical appearance. They may have Taurus in their first house or Venus in their first house, you guys. But Taurus is earthy, practical, steadfast, productive, fertile, tactile, ample, worthy, ripe, pleasure-seeking, sensuous, blooming, solid, possessive, tenacious, loyal, patient, and deliberate person may have really dark hair. This is physical body, outlook, self-image, life philosophy, curiosity, opinions, awakening, self-awareness, arrival, expression, gateway, and entry point. So this is just how they see themselves, you guys. Um, I am noticing the Emerald City in the background. So I don't know if any of you guys are from Seattle or this person from Seattle, shout out Emerald City, King County what? Okay, so 
there's that. And then we have the gentleman, you guys. So this person is kind of like a classically attractive person. If I'm being honest, nothing about them is standing out too, too much to me. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. They just seem like a very normal looking person, you know, somebody who may dress in uniform for their job, or maybe they dress in a suit for their job, but nothing about them is like, besides the scars, besides the scars and their big eyes, I feel like they look pretty normal. They look pretty, I don't want to say average because I know people get like butt hurt about the word average, but like they just look classically normal this person may also have tattoos i don't know why i didn't even like notice that you guys with the freaking ten of swords this person may have tattoos i don't feel like they necessarily have tattoos all over them although they could i feel like for most of you they may have tattoos that are easily concealed i'm getting a very like triangular shaped face Okay, so a triangular shaped face. I do feel like this person may be physically fit. Moving on to the bowl. I'm gonna just quickly go ahead and pull some physical attributes. Oh, okay. So we have a beauty mark slash scar, you guys. We have curly hair. We have a mature look. We have medium sized lips. We got tattoos, which I said. We have a faded haircut. We have a standing out. We have a heart shaped face, you guys. We have dark brown slash black. This could be their hair, their eyes, their skin complexion. And we have uniquely attractive, okay? Uniquely attractive. Now, moving on to the other physical attributes, we have a party. Does that say party? A party, so you may meet them at a party. There may be something about them that is rare, you guys, because we have rare. We have May. We have April. We have less hair, which the faded haircut could also be considered like less hair. philosophical, which going back to the owl, somebody who's very smart. And we have fireworks, okay? So that is what I have for you guys. Group number four, thank you all so much for watching. Please let me know down below how this has resonated with you. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I will talk to you really soon. Okay, bye.